how would you score that pass that Jack threw you? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I caught it and I was ready to dunk it. I was hoping nobody came behind me and, uh, you know, I was just ready to dunk it as hard as I could. Speaking of that dunk, I mean, considering all the close losses you guys had and all just the game fluctuated the way it did, like, how cathartic was that? Like, what did that feel like? Uh, it was great. You know, I was probably celebrating a little too long and uh, almost forgot to run back and uh, get my man in the corner. So, you know, it, was, it felt good. <laughs> Against 6'11 and 7'0, so just can you speak on overall how physical this game was compared to other games and just the matchup you had in the paint tonight? Yeah, um, two good players in them. They uh, they rotate them in pretty well, so they get a good variety of what they can both do. And they're both um, pretty different. Uh, Garcia um, is a, uh, he can really, huh? DS Graham. DS Graham, sorry. I don't know why I said that. But uh, yeah, he uh, he's a lot more versatile than Federico. He's more, Federico's a lot more of a get behind your lob guy. And so it's two different, completely two different looks. So you got to really be on your toes. But I, um, you know, I enjoy physical, physical games and uh, having to bang a little bit down low and stuff. So it uh, worked in our favor to be able to kind of go inside tonight and let our guards find us inside too. What do you think about uh, Jack's performance in the second half? It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, whenever he sees a couple go through, he can do some special stuff. Um, he, he's awesome. I, I love seeing him succeed because I mean, like you know, he's. He's had a couple of things not go his way. Um, and, you know, it's just awesome to see him go out there and have a great game and, in a time we desperately needed it. How, how big was this, guys, for, you know, what you guys are trying to accomplish and where you want to get to here as the season goes down? It's big. Um, I mean, it was huge for especially tournament, uh, ACC tournament seeding. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, I mean, four home losses, especially in conference, that's, I mean, it's not good. Um, last year we lost one, and that one probably would have got us in the tournament would have been a quad run one against Miami. And so, I mean, like, uh, four home losses is not up to our standard, so making sure that we finish this season out right is what we're really focusing on. Uh, hence the incident, incident came uh, amongst one of the best scores in the ACC. You guys did a good job limiting some of the six points. Uh, what was the game plan behind that? Heck, I didn't guard him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guarded him, you know, maybe four minutes, but uh, Jack Clark and uh, Chauncey Wiggins just, you know, they uh, they took the assignment and uh, they did a great job, and he limited his three, so. I'll tell you what, I mean, that's a guy like, tonight we were all over him. But if you aren't all over him, I think that it might be better to just not put a hand in his face because he will just I – I swear he shoots better if he can't see the rim. It's ridiculous. The guy can shoot once he steps in the gym. He can freaking play. He lit us up in the second half up there. I don't know how many he had in the first half, but mm -hmm. he finished about 30. And I don't think he had a whole lot in the first half. Yeah, so he, that's an incredible player. How much did Jack Clark help you guys on the defensive end since he get back in there? Yeah, he's been, he's been great. I mean, he's been taking uh, – you know, some of the best players on the other team and just slowing him down. He's been guarding, like, the point guard sometimes. You know, he can even switch the five and guard him well. He's just a versatile defender, and he's – Size. He's been, yeah, he's been big for us. Yeah, got a lot of size and helps us, and he's such a positionless defender. You guys started off scoring a lot more in the first half, but then going into the second half, it almost like it was a switch, and you guys really got – you took away that lead they had, and it went back and forth. Was there some sort – was there an adjustment that you guys made defensively for them, or more just you guys kind of got in the rhythm? Uh, a couple guys that weren't necessarily a focus of ours uh, hit some big shots in the beginning of the game, and so that was that obviously you know makes it a little lopsided. But we you know we started the game plan; it was a good plan. Coaches set up a great plan for us, and we ended up executing down the stretch. And we hit some shots. I mean, Chase got a incredible roll. We had some some favorable bounces to go in the rim and stuff, and we uh, we ended up pulling it out down the down the stretch. And that was one of the, what ended up winning for us with our defense down the stretch. And we played those odds in our game plan. What kind of a role has our Godfrey? I mean, one thing for Beetle, I mean, like, when he comes in late and someone who's guarding him has been playing for about four or five minutes straight, dude is a ball of energy. And, I mean, good luck trying to stay in front of him. And so, I mean, then you have R.J. Godfrey, who's just, I mean, a bully. I mean, he looks like a tight end playing out there. So, I mean, he's, they're both huge for us, kind of energy coming off the bench. Yeah. I know it's not your next game, but we might not have access to you between now and then. What will seeing the night mean to you being a hometown guy? Yeah, I mean, it's special. Uh, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about the fact that I had senior night coming up. Um, I tell you, it went, it went by too fast. I'm st I still think about, 
you know, Parker Fox and Hunter Tyson and stuff, hanging out with them all the time. And even and even Lynn Kidd uh, at Virginia Tech, like, that's my guy. Like, whenever we were freshmen coming in, um, Olivier, Max, uh, Maxis Prosper as well, O-Max, I mean, coming in with those guys, it feels like it was yesterday. And so, uh, man, it's been an incredible experience here. And playing for Coach Brownell has been the best decision and best experience of my basketball career. It's I can't thank this program, city, team, school, everything enough, man. What's it been like to have a season like you guys are in the midst of now? You're, you know, on the brink of doing some pretty special things in the past. It's exciting, man. I mean, we obviously had a little rough stretch, but I think that built us up for what we're going, we're about to go to. Uh, I mean, if you don't have adversity through a season, you're going to have a pretty tough time down the, down the stretch whenever you hit something. And so, having that early on in the conference schedule and having to fight back the entire year from one and three to try to get one of those top four spots that we're still fighting for. Um, I mean. I'm so excited for see what to what the future uh, holds. What's it been like for both of you guys dealing with sort of the wear and tear of the season, not practicing much, and just sort of fighting through that late in the year? Um, you know, it's, we've been getting a lot of mental reps lately, and just staying focused on our goals, and uh, you know, doing what we can for the team, even though sometimes we, you know we can't do as much as we would like. Um, just, just you know, lifting the team spirit, and you know, keep lifting these guys up. Yeah, I mean, throughout the entire season, whenever you're playing football, basketball, and even baseball, I mean, Cam Canarillo, I mean, that was the beginning of the season, but I heard he had a shoulder injury. I mean, like, there's just stuff that happens, and you just got to, you know, continue to play and do what you can and play for your team and continue to, you know, have a spirit. Whenever you're in these practices, if you're not getting as many reps, you know, on the sideline, trying to coach up the guys, younger guys, and keeping guys uh, focused and, you know, in the right headspace. What's been uh, y'all's ailment? Can you tell us what, what, I what was that? been bothering y'all? Oh, I mean, um, this guy just, I mean, how many minutes he played tonight? 31. Yeah, it's just kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, just. big guy is playing a lot, getting beat up. Uh, sadly, you know, Boz is out, and so not having that guy to play about seven minutes for us uh, is tough, and he's fighting to get back. And so, you know, just playing a lot, of, lot you know, getting banged up on us. Um, you know, just wear and tear, yeah. And we're both fine. I mean, we went out there and both played 30, 30 minutes tonight, and, yep. yeah, and um, got to win is the most important part. You guys have recently pulled away at the end of close games, and yet when you have a lead, you've kind of let other teams fight back into the game. Why do you think that is? What's the difference in those situations? Yeah, I mean, I wish I could tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's been a couple times that, I mean, looking back on it, mental errors. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, I still can't believe I fouled um, Sternovic on a three-pointer with a minute eight left in the game. Then, I, mean, I mean, I'm thinking, like, oh, we're good. It's all three, and then we end up losing. I mean, like, dude, I still can't believe that happened. And you know, those are the type of things you got to just, you know, not forget, but, like, wipe away and not do again. And so, you know, down down these last few games, this stretch has been good for us to pull away and put, put teams away late and execute down the stretch. Any more questions for these guys? Ian, tonight marks your 13th game with double-digit rebounds, including eight double-doubles. Sure. Last year you only had one. You really made a stride in improving this year. Can you put that to your off-season work, maybe in-season as well? What can you attest to being this good? Um, you know, part of it is kind of just, you know, Hunter Tyson used to grab every rebound. Like, I mean, <laughs> last year he would grab every rebound. So I think just the off-season work and just getting in shape and, you know, just working on being more vertical. Like, I'm not as big as these guys, but, you know, I jump up and get the ball. Um, boxing out and, you know, just wanting it more. It's also having a freaking dog in you. And <laughs> tell you what, not a lot of people have that like Ian Shefflin. It's, it's fun to play with. Thanks.